Hey y'all, it's Bob Cooter. How y'all doing? We're here back at Six Tanglewood Drive. We're trying to help these good folk out. They haven't been able to move back into their home since the last time Cooter was here. I accidentally opened up a portal to hell in their home by calling forth the spirit and then running out of the house. That was disrespectful to all the entities and malicious demons and spirits in the home. So they opened up a portal to hell in these good folks' house. They haven't been able to move back in. They've been staying in a Super 8, and it's been coming out of Bob Cooter's pocket. So little Joshua and little Betty Sue, they ain't been getting their Dunkaroos and their lunch for school. So they've been raising all kinds of hell at home. So Cooter's here. We're here on my day off, on my off time. We're going to try to fix the situation, right the wrongs, and get these good folks back in their home. So the spirit we're dealing with today is Doris Straffin. They're just coming in and out of here like all kinds of hail. So we're going to bring in some basic equipment with us to try to figure out where the ghost is in the home, where they located in the residence. Then we're going to kind of hone in on that location and get down to business. So, oh, it's a nice clear night tonight. My grandpappy always used to tell me, you know, Cooter, the best nights for ghost hunting is nice, clear nights. All right, so let's open the door here and announce our presence to Doris Straffin. Hello, Doris Straffin. My name's Bob Cooter. How y'all doing? I'm here to help ease your transition to the other side. I mean you no harm. I come in a welcoming, warm fashion. I am only here to help you. All right, I, I forgot where the breaker was. Let's make sure we check before we go strutting on in there. All right, the breaker's in the garage. That's good to know. All right, so we need to locate where Doris Straffin's spirit is currently roaming in the house. Then we can hone in on that location and get our job done here, get down to business. So let's look for some open doors or overturned furniture, that kind of thing. Then that's going to help Bob Q to figure out where to focus his efforts. Mighty quiet in here. Not seeing any signs of disturbance yet. Let's look for any overturned furniture or what have you. All right, I don't see any open doors either. Let's see if the door's open in here. No, nope, door's closed. You always want to check for, oh, what's this? Oh, there's a bone on the floor. Oh, my goodness. We always want to check if there's any interior doors open, but they all closed. So there was a bone on the floor here. Let's see if there's any residual EMF readings. All right, nothing so far. Let's check over here. Not getting any EMF readings over here either, folks. These ghosts, they tricky. When they don't want to be purged, you know, they get stuck and clung to a residence and, you know, it's not easy to get them out of here. Only when the ghost wishes to transition is it easy. Otherwise, as you know, sometimes it can be a damn nightmare. All right, I'm not getting any EMF in the main residence. No open doors. So I think what we're going to do is start checking the rooms here. All right, no EMF in here. Let's close the door. Then Cooter don't get confused. All right, no EMF in here either. This ghost is being elusive, y'all. All right, we've got some kind of child's room in there. No EMF readings yet. All right, let's check the garage. You know, you got to be systematic when you're doing your ghost hunting. It's not for everyone. These ghosts is tricky sometimes.
All right, still no sign of him. Let's go check the garage. Oh, I saw the hammer. Did y'all see that? Oh, we're getting EMF in here, but it ain't five. And it just happened. It's going to four, but not five. Okay, so we're going to leave the EMF here. See if we see any fingerprints on the hammer here. All right, our temperature is dropping. I don't see any fingerprints on the hammer. So we'll leave that. All right, we need to go get the thermometer and the camera and set those up. Start whittling it down here and figure out what kind of malevolent forces are haunting these good folks home here. All right, so we saw temperature fluctuations with our breath and our wiener running up inside our body, so we're gonna grab that up. We'll grab the camera, and that'll be good for now. All right, let's head back in there, see if we can't get some orbs, see if we can confirm the uh, freezing temperatures. We know it's pretty cold, but we gotta be precise. You know, this is a science. We're talking about universal truths here and shit. All right, EMF readers going. Oh, it's five, EMF five, EMF five confirmed. Yeah, that's EMF five. See that, that's EMF five right there. All right, we're getting freezing temperatures here, but let's make sure we confirm. All right, we're definitely at zero. We're saved by zero. We'll put that down. Okay, let's set the camera up there. All right, let's head back to the truck, see if we can get some orbs on here. So we got some footage, hopefully, of orbs coming up, but we got some evidence we can work with at the present time. We know we got freezing temperatures. We know we got EMF-5. So we're starting to whittle it down here. We got Jin, we got Shade, we got Oni, we got the twins. See, these ghosts, sometimes when they grow up, they don't know what kind of ghost they wanna be. So older ghosts, they put them on ghost blockers. And then when the ghosts grow up and they learn about life and what kind of ghost they want to be, you know, they become their own personal truth ghosts and they come off the ghost blockers and they're like, hey, I'm a djinn. When they're really a shade. Or, you know, hey, I'm an oni, but I'm really the twins. And, you know, Bob Cooter's about scientific truth here, universal truth. So we're helping these ghosts come to terms with who they really are. And then we help them transition to the other side. So this is all about doing what's right for the ghosts, you know, because sometimes they're a little mental, mentally messed up in the head because, you know, they're ghosts, right? And they're having a hard time with their transition. So as ghost hunters, our job is to help the ghost transition to the other side and come to terms with who they really are on the inside. So we're going to grab the talk box, going to grab the dots projector, Go get some uh, hard evidence and some scientific universal truth here and help this ghost understand life and help him transition to the other side from one ethereal plane to the other, you know, because that's the really only real kind of transition that Bob Cooter recognizes. The ghost kind of transition. So I, I don't know if this ghost has come off his ghost blockers yet and who, if he's ex accepted who he is, but we're going to find out here. Hey, ghost, it's Bob Cooter. How y'all doing? Mr. Ghost, y'all here? Bob Cooter's here to help you with your transition to the other side. Mr. Ghost, you here, Mr. Ghost? All right, here, let's set this up and then go check for some orbs on the camera. We forgot to do that. We'll put the dots back, but let's just first confirm orbs in night vision on the cam first. Yay or nay. We got to do this scientifically, step by step, very precisely, so we can confront the ghost with cold hard facts to help ease him with his transition, or else it can be pretty rough.
All right, I'm not seeing any orbs yet, but let's be patient here. Might need to adjust the position of the camera, but that's right where the hammer was thrown at us from the spirit of Dorothy Straffin. So, pretty sure they're in that location, but we might have to move it. Let's go put the dots in. We might just not be seeing any orbs. So, let's go put the dots in and see what happens. We haven't yet got a talk box response, so this ghost might be a little stubborn so far and having a hard time with his transition. He might be like, no, Bob Cooter, I'm an Oni. I swear I'm an Oni, but I'm like, no, dude, the facts show me you're a djinn, you know? You're born a djinn, you can't change into an Oni. You're a djinn. Dorothy Straffin, can you hear me? Are you there, Dorothy Straffin? Can you hear me, Dorothy Straffin? Are you there, Dorothy Straffin? Dorothy Straffin, are you there? Can you hear me, Dorothy Straffin? Oh, we got a response. That sounded like a dude, not Dorothy Straffin. All right, I think this ghost is having a hard time with the transition. So we'll set the dots up here. No, not like diet. Set it up over here like diet. Set our camera up. Right like there. All right, let's see what type of evidence we get now and let's uh, update our journal after we got that talk box interaction. All right, we're getting down. It could be the twins, but again, this ghost could be confused. It could have ghost identification dysphoria. It's called GIDS. So we just got to help the ghost ease into knowing what it is and what it always has been. All right, let's watch here. See if we get any dots footage, any orbs. This could take some time, so we just gotta be patient, y'all. We're here to do the best for the interests of the ghost, so we don't wanna be rushing through this. We want to show Dorothy Straffin all the respect we can. All right, I'm not seeing anything in there, but Maybe we just gotta flip the camera and the dots projector around the other way. Let's try turning those around and we'll bring this book in there on the way. See if we can get Dorothy Straffin to maybe write something down in the book here. These ghosts that have GID, they like to write a lot of stuff down in journals and manifestos and stuff. So that's what might lure it into communicating with us a little more here. Dorothy Straffin, I brought you a journal that you may use to communicate with us. There you go. I hope that helps. All right, let's try. Oh, I heard something. I heard something. Let's turn the light on, see if we can see what happened in here. I heard something getting moved around or thrown, perhaps. Oh, the, the hammer's moved. All right, so let's put the dots projector facing this way here. Oh, that might have been an orb. I don't know if I'd classify that as an orb or not. We got to be real precise here, y'all. All right, let's try putting this here. Try setting the camera up over here. Like that. All right. Pretty sure we can... Oh, oh my goodness. Run, Cooter. Oh, 
Oh, that was close. All right, let's check the camera. We've angered Dorothy Strappin. She's reached a point in her transition where she's struggling with the information we're providing her with. But that's okay. All right, let's see if we get anything on the camera here. So yeah, Bob Cooter's going to be, uh, when he retires, I'm going to be doing a ghost hunting commercial, looking for other people to hire to join my ghost hunting team. So if you want to beat the rush, message Cooter in the comment section of this YouTube video and say, hey, Cooter, I want to come on your ghost hunting team. Before all the best ghost hunters in the world see Bob Cooter's ghost hunting commercial, and they want to get on board. So yeah, that's how you beat the rush. When you see Bob Cooter's ghost hunting commercial, y'all going to be blown away. All right, I'm not seeing any orbs, not seeing any dots. Let's go back and check the book and see if he's written anything down in the book. All right, let's be careful here. We're getting close to presenting this ghost with some scientific truths that are going to be hard for her to swallow. So let's be careful. You don't want to take this too lightly. Maybe leave the light on out here. Why is that outside? That's a little weird. All right, let's see what's in there. See if it's anything been changed in here. Oh, I heard EMF. Get some EMF readings. Let's try changing the location of the camera here. Oh. Not seeing any interaction in terms of fingerprints being left behind. All right, let's go see if we get any footage on the camera now that we moved it. But I think we're getting pretty close here to being able to confirm that we're not getting any dots or any uh, orbs of any kind. But we don't want to leave prematurely. We want to make sure we do this right. Oh, I left the light on, but let's see if the ghost turns it off here. All right, we might need to go back in there and turn the light off. See if Dorothy Straffins does it on her own here in the next minute. If not, we'll go back in there and turn it off. All right, let's head back in there and turn that light off. Hopefully Dorothy Straffins feels more uh, at home to come out when we turn this garage light off. Get the last bit of evidences we need here to be able to move on. All right, let's close this door. All right, let's see what that does. See if that helps Dorothy Straffins ease her through a transition here. Close this portal to hell. You know, my grandpappy always taught us, you know, you open a portal to hell in someone's house, you got to close it. It's just being a gentleman. All right, 
I'm not seeing any orbs, not seeing any dots, but let's give it a while here. Got to get that hard scientific proof. When we go back in, we'll check the ghost book too, see if she wrote anything down. We got to confirm that bit of evidence. So I think we got no ultraviolet, ghost orbs, or a dots projector. And if we get no ghost writing, oh, look, the car alarm's going off. So unless we get some dots or orbs, we could be looking at a twin ghost. But it could just be identifying as a twin ghost and it could be something else entirely, so. Might just be getting off his ghost blockers and might be still a little bit confused. But that's why Cooter's here to help you just transition to the other side. All right, let's go check the ghost book, see what's going on. Where's our ghost book at? Oh, it tossed it over here. All right. Let's go see if it wrote anything in here. Not seeing any writing in here. But we'll double check. All right, I see no writing on it. I don't think it did any writing on the book. Car alarm still going off. Oh, was that an orb? Oh no, it's Bob Cooter's flashlight. I always do that. All right, let's go turn that light off. Get final confirmation here, and then we're gonna head out. Oh, it's singing ring around the rosy to me. Oh, we got some interactions here with furnitures. We need to see if we got any UV light interactions on here, any fingerprints or what have you. No, I don't see any. All right, let's check the camera out. And I think we're gonna be good to get out of here. All right, Bob Cooter's flashlight's off. Let's be patient here and watch for any orbs. Watch for any dots. Gotta make sure we get confirmation here. Some universal truths we gotta present to this ghost. Door strafing, you know. It's gonna be hard thing to accept that she's not really an Oni and she's really the twins. But that's what happens when a ghost gets kids, you know, ghost identification dysphoria. It's not, it's not a nice symptom for a ghost to have. They're already dealing with a hard time of being dead. All right, I haven't seen anything in there at all. I'm really thinking this ghost does not make orbs or it show up on the dots, which is leading me to believe it can be only be one thing. 
So let's put this book back in there one more time, give it one more chance to write something down, and then we're heading out. This is the only one we haven't fully got confirmation on, I would say. So it did knock over a picture in a book, in a shoe, it looks like. But I think that was when he was chasing Cooter out of here. Some cups knocked over. No fingerprints. All right, left the book. No fingerprints either. See if we get any footage with that door open there. See if it maybe it closes the door, maybe shuts the light off. All right, we need to go see if it wrote in that book. If it wrote in that book, then it's gonna throw everything off because then we don't know what the heck we're dealing with here. But if it didn't write in the book, then we're pretty sure it's the twins. All right, let's go. It's our last time coming in and out of here. Let's pray to Jesus we get out safely. Oh, Jesus, the light turned off. I think it hit the breaker. Let's check here. No, oh, the light's still on in that hallway, so it just turned that light off by the door there. All right, let's turn that light back on. Oh, it flipped over a picture. Let's check. No, no fingerprints. All right, let's grab that book. It did not write in the book. All this tossed over stuff, there's no fingerprints on it. All right. All right, so it didn't write down in the book just like we guessed. So it's the twins. All right, we're good to move on out of here now, everyone. We figured out what kind of ghost it was. We're going to be able to sell this information to some people I know down in Louisiana. They're going to come up here and perform an exorcism. They're going to purge these ghosts up out of here. We just had to do our job to identify what kind of ghost it was. Make sure ghost was actually what it identified as and that it wasn't on ghost blockers or under any kind of ghost transition. So... We've helped ease it out into the other side. Now these people can come exercise it from the property. All right, everyone. I'll see y'all next time. Take care. Bob Cooter heading back to headquarters now.